almost 40 years, if you were in the mood for all-American food and you were close to Route 224 in Boardman, there was one place to go, A&W. The hot dogs, they're wonderful. We started coming here when they were 39 cents. I gotta find a new place where the kids are hip. Then, in the 80s and 90s, car enthusiasts set up shop in the restaurant's parking lot. But the man behind the wheel of this longtime Valley tradition says it's time to close. I've been with a and 53 years. Uh, I love it or I wouldn't have been doing it all these years. Uh, it comes a part of everyone's life where you'd like to retire. Back in 1973, Thompson was driving down 224, actually heading to another job, when he ran into his first boss, who owned the A&W in Warren. Standing in the middle of it. So I stopped and said hello to him. He says, I want you to run it. Within a year, Thompson's family did more than run it. They bought the Boardman business and quickly picked up plenty of loyal passengers. It was just a really nice, friendly atmosphere, nice family place. The car people are basically family around here. And besides his own, the family Thompson is most proud of is the one who fondly called him Mr. T and clocked in to work for him every day. The people, the young people, and what they've actually done with their lives. Over the years, Mr. T took a chance on hundreds of young adults, giving them their very first job including myself. And now he's taking a chance on retirement. He sold the property to Advanced Auto and will close for good on New Year's Eve. Until then, he's ready for one last runaround with his customers. I don't know what else really to say other than I just thank everybody for the support. In Boardman, Roxanne Seabest, 27 First News.